the number one most important skill that you can develop inside and out every single day is mastering and building your self-confidence, your self-worth, your ability to believe in yourself at a higher level. Miss you too, Jet. Hopefully we'll see you in Dallas, Texas at the summit. There's a link. You guys use the code, the WGR, save 100 bucks. So how then, if the most important skill to be in business and to grow your sales, uh, sales side of your business is increasing your self-confidence and your self-worth, how do we do that? I've been talking so much about this lately because I believe this. Your job is to not meet with a buyer or a seller and convince them to do business with you, but is to convince them that you are convinced you deserve the business. For far too long, we are creating a reality where we need external validation. And to be a real leader, you've got to validate yourself. So let me give you a couple tools and techniques that you can use. Awesome. Glad to see you in Dallas. I can't wait. I know Lou will be there. Kristen will be there. Ben will be there. It's going to be awesome in Dallas. I'm excited for all you guys. So step number one in creating this skill of creating self-worth, increasing self-worth, increasing self-confidence. So number one is making the decision that you want to increase your self-worth and you decide now that you deserve to have a higher sense of self-worth and a higher sense of self-confidence. Because here's the reality. When we have more inner confidence and more belief in ourselves, our ego shrinks. It's when we are insecure that our ego is big and we're playing the imposter syndrome that we're either A, not believing we're good enough, or B, we motherfuckers are pretending to be better than we really are. How often are we seeing that over social media today? So step number one is making that decision that you are going to increase your self-worth. Step number two is it happens by making promises to yourself. Too often we're making promises to our clients, to our, to our family members, to our spouses, to other business people. We're making all these external promises while we're breaking our internal promises. Do you follow me here? So step number two is begin making simple promises. And the key word is simple. Simple promises to yourself where, hey, listen, I'm gonna go get a massage for myself and celebrate me, or I'm going to start drinking green smoothies, and today is day one, I'm gonna make my first green smoothie. You don't have to make the promise of doing it for 30 days, because that's a complex promise, but make the promise of doing it one time, okay? So we begin, to, and here's, here's a very, very simple promise you can make yourself, is I make a promise to myself to write down 10 things I'm grateful for today. Now, step number three, Maybe you're already like me. Here's where I was. I'm so disciplined. In fact, one of our mastermind partners, I did a flag on the call here with him yesterday. He's, he's always feeling like he's stressed. The dude is 40 years old. He owns his house free and clear. He's making 20% a year on trading stocks. He's making $180,000 a year in his revenue. And he just feels like he's not doing enough, right? But he is up every day at the gym doing his, his morning routine. He has a set routine as far as trading stocks. He has a set routine as far as generating business. He has more than enough to provide for his family. But here's where we get stuck when we are disciplined, is not validating and acknowledging what we are doing. So that's the third step. So what I recommend to you is this, is every time you honor your word, that you keep your word, your promise to yourself, Say it out loud, awesome, nice job Colton, you're keeping your word, you're increasing your self-worth, you're increasing your value to other people. I literally walk around my office saying that shit all the time because here's the truth, if I'm not putting it into my reticular activating system, who the fuck is? The other way that I recommend that you validate and acknowledge yourself is take five or 10 minutes and write down what you acknowledge yourself for. I acknowledge and validate myself for showing up at the gym. I acknowledge and validate, validate myself for eating green nutrition I, and, and eating vegan. I, I acknowledge and validate myself for working on my self-worth, for listening to an Ed Milet podcast, for showing up on my mastermind call, for watching this video. I acknowledge myself for prospecting when I said I was going to do it. I acknowledge myself for the four deals I have under contact right now. I validate myself as a successful person. I validate myself knowing that I made the decision to increase my self-worth. So that's the third one, is reiterating and affirming and appreciating and acknowledging yourself for not only making simple promises, not only keeping simple promises, but that you're doing it over and over again, okay? So those are some simple steps for you to be able to increase your skill set of self-worth, self-confidence, belief in yourself, and the more you do that, you'll naturally open up 
your inner confidence. And what will tend to happen is you become an authentic version of you. And when you become an authentic version of you, you're more apt to be honest with your customers on a higher level. How many of you guys have been in this spot before where you're a little bit nervous to talk to them about the commission or the terms of the agreement or whatever, right? Like I'm, I'm buying a new truck right now and I can tell every time this cool kid, 19 year old salesman comes in and he's, he's nervous to give me the information because you know how I'm gonna react. Like I'm, I already know what I'm willing to pay and not willing to pay and I've made that decision. And so he would come nervous on how I would react. How many of you guys have shown up that way with other people in your life? Because you, you don't wanna do something wrong to, to, to mess it up with this person or lose the deal or lose the contract or lose the relationship. But when we begin to validate ourselves and keep our simple promises, now all of a sudden it's easy to be honest with these people and have the attitudes, listen, here's where we're at with this. I know where I'm gonna perform. I know the value that I bring. I know the worth that I have in this deal. And, and if it doesn't work, that's okay. And you're willing to let that deal go, whether it's, it's a buyer, a seller, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a, a friend, whether it's a business person or a colleague, or, or, or even just blocking someone on social media. It becomes so much easier to say, I know where my fucking world's at. I know where I stand. I know where my value is. So my recommendation is to you guys is get obsessed with increasing your self-worth and your self-confidence because no one else is gonna do it for you. And those are simple steps to do it. I wanna invite you guys to come out to the WDR Summit's happening in Dallas, September 19th through the 21st. We still have some tickets available. I would love to see all you folks there. Jen, I'd love to see you there. And I appreciate you being part of the mastermind. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Link is in the video. We'll see you in Dallas.